Hello, today I'll be going through how to set up a Raspberry Pi 4 to boot off a USB SSD hard drive. So let's get started. Let's start by SSHing to our Pi 4 as the default user Pi and using the password for that user. If we take a look at our block devices, we can see that we have our MMC or SD card mounted. After plugging in the USB storage device, we can now see that appears as SDA. The first thing we will do is edit our RPI EEPROM config. At the end of the file, add a line setting the boot order to 0xF14. This sets the boot order to USB first with a fallback to the SD card. We can see that after this, we need to reboot the Raspberry Pi. During the boot, it will rewrite the boot sequence. After it has restarted, we can log back in and sudo back to root so that we can now copy the SD card to the hard drive. As there is no feedback, we will stop this initial copy and redo it, passing in the status set to progress. The reason for using DD and not creating partitions and copying is that the boot command scripts and the file system table are all referencing the device UUID numbers for mounts. The copy command is used so that these are preserved on the USB drive. Once complete, we need to shut down and remove the SD card so that we can boot from the USB SSD hard drive. Logging in one last time, we can see that only SDA is available and it is mounted and that it is a 60 gig SSD. But when we check the size of the root partition, it is 15 gig, just as it was back on the SD card. To fix this, we will sudo to root and run the raspy config tool. Entering the advanced options and expanding the file system. Now when taking a look at the file system, we can see that it takes up all the space that was available. If you liked the video, please press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.